hello. Hello. Oh, hello. There's a nice man in here, Joe. Well, we don't know if he's nice yet. He looks nice. Oh, yeah, you look nice. Thank you. Nice it's hair. Lovely hair, yeah. What should we spit out our chewing gum? We've all got chewy ends. I swallowed cool. mine. Sorry. <laughs> you swallowed yours? Seven years bad luck. Bad. I know. No, it's not there. It's just... <laughs> Would either of you want to take this? May I? You may. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Get Are to you? know this person. You will be tested on your knowledge of this person in ten minutes' time. You may not write anything down or leave the lab. It's a memory thing, which is bad for us. You must take it in turns to ask a completely different question. The person will tell the truth, lie, then brag in that or order, but not necessarily starting with the truth. The person will tell the truth, lie, then oh, brag God. in that order. It's OK, but not necessarily starting with the truth. What's the final line of, of the task? Uh, your task starts now. Okay. Well, it's all about um, them creating a system, the teams. Oh, yeah. To crack the code. Do you want to see their revision process? Yes, please. Here I'd it like is. I'd like to see their revision the process. The revision process. Here we go. What's your name? Carlos Edwards. Carlos Edwards. What do you do? Uh, I'm a modern day Jesus Christ. That sounds like a brag to me. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's your job? I am. Training to be a doctor. How old are you? Nearly 40. Do you live in a flat? I live in a three story house on a farm. Do you live with some farmers? No. Do you farm? Yes. There's a doctor on a farm? Yes. Certainly some line has gone on. I've never seen someone on a tractor <laughs> looking that at you. Have you worked out a system yet, you two? Is there a system? Are we meant to No, yeah, we are, but we have, we're not using it. Yeah. Have you ever been in a play? Have you ever been to Penge? Uh, yes. What do you do? I'm a magician. Ah, that sounds true to me. Yeah. True. So what is it? Truth? Lie, Brian. 20 seconds left. We'll just... Uh, um, what's your best trick? My best trick is a stage trick whereby I end up taking my clothes off. I'm on stage wearing women's underwear. I think that's not true. Is that a brag? It's a strange brag. Please leave the lab and head over to the exam area. It was only really, really late in the day that I realised we were supposed to have a system. So we were supposed to actually find out real stuff about it. <laughs> well, it seems to me, Joe, you worked out there was supposed to be a system fairly <laughs> early on and chose not to pursue one. <laughs> I just wanted to try and guess instinctively to see if I had the power. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's time for that exam. Good luck, teams. Hello, Faith. Please, oh. please have a seat. Please have a seat. You're a bit high up. You're a bit low down. <laughs> Welcome to the exam. <laughs> you may confer. OK. But I will then only accept your first answer. The exam will last a maximum of 10 minutes from now. Question one. What is your name? Gareth Simon Callian. What is the person's name? Well, he gave us one name, which was Carlos Edwards. That's the only time he gave us yeah, a name. Yeah, well, let's so we use no that then. Carlos oh. Edwards. What is your occupation? I am a professional magician. I think he is a magician. I agree. What is your age? I am 39 years old. What is the person's age? I think he's had some work done. He think he has work done? Let's say 42. <laughs> Should we go for 42? It's the only yeah. number. Yeah, let's getting. go for 42. Final question. What is the person's party trick? Please do the trick. We've got three minutes, 50 seconds. He said something about being on stage in women's underwear. He did say that, which isn't really a party trick. Well, I'm not you... doing that. Have Although you got I, women's I, well, underwear? Of the two of us, I assume you're the one with women's underwear on. We're not doing that trick. You're not um, doing that trick. No, cos I don't want to show you my underwear, cos obviously I haven't got my car crash underwear on. No. <laughs> You've got two minutes, 20 This is our party trick. This is the party trick. This is our it? party trick. It's to talk about pants. What is your party trick? I can make my tongue really big. Concludes <laughs> 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 you can. Uh, Joe, what's car crash underwear? Well, it's the sort of underwear that all women are supposed to wear just in case you're in a car crash. And, and then, then you're... you're lying on the table in A&E &E and it's not like the grey ones that have got what looks like custard on them. <laughs> it's, like, it's like 
Steady on, Joe. I'm trying to present a show here. I don't want to get turned on. <laughs> we, know, we know why you'll be in the car crash, cos he's singing Jerusalem, Dad. <laughs> Jerusalem. Do you want to tell them what the scores are? Well, the team of two got one and a half right, the team of three got three and a half right. But we were at a disadvantage. The right answer fell on the same person every time in their team because there were three, so it was easier to work yeah, out. And that, what, yeah, right, no, we no, didn't have a system because there was only two of us. That's yeah. not why you didn't have a system! No, you, <laughs> you didn't have a system because you just walked in, didn't give a fuck and then left again! As there was, in the end, the two-point golf between the two teams. So I'm going to give Joe and David two points. Two points to the team of two. I'm going to give Ed, Rose and Katie four points. OK, four points to the team of three. There you go. There we go. Well, well done. Well, I've got some news for you, because for the first time this series, I'm offering up a bonus point. <gasps> what? Do you want to tell the, the...? They were more excited about the egg. <laughs> <laughs> It goes to the team member who best replicates the magician's big tongue. <laughs> it's not coming out. Why is it not coming out? <laughs> Why can't you get your tongue out of your mouth? Joe is pretty strong. <laughs> I'm going to give the bonus point to Joe Brown. Joe Brown gets one point for a massive tongue. I can hear the postman. Oh, I've got some mail. Create the best caricature of the person on the other side of the curtain. Other side of the curtain. Oh, this curtain. <laughs> you, may not, <laughs> you may not look at the person. The person may only say yes and no. You'll get a bonus point if you can find out the person's full name. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Hello, are you, are you behind the curtain? Yes. <laughs> it's a good job it's got a limit on the amount of questions you can ask. <laughs> that'd be a wasted question right there, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who's first? Well, interestingly, I've grouped Joe, Lolly, Mel and Noel together, so I've... I've, <laughs> me again. I've not, You've isolated Hugh. I have isolated yeah. Hugh. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Why would that be? <laughs> really? Yes. Let's see Hugh. Yeah. Oh. So I may not look at the person. Am I allowed out of the caravan? Why do you want to go out of the caravan, Hugh? <laughs> I'm going to lift the curtain to expose you. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you in, in a mirror. Here goes the curtain. Three minutes. OK. I'm going to lift it again, cos I can't really remember what's going on. You've got two minutes left, Hugh. OK. All right, I'll do that. It's not really a caricature, is it? It's a... <laughs> a quick look at the old arm. Coming again. <laughs> Ten seconds. I think I'm just going to stop that. <whistles> yes, if you would. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just have one. a look in your mirror? I think I'm looking at you. Am no, looking? no, that doesn't... No, you're not looking at me. You're looking at the image of me. It looks like you. Yeah, no, but it's, it's the image of me. It's like looking at a film. It's exactly the same principle. You're, you're not. I'm not looking at me. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking in the mirror. Where are you looking now? I'm back at school. <laughs> You can't touch me, can you, by doing that? Why not? No. Touch the mirror. You touch the mirror. Oh, I see what you mean. So that's not me. Yes, it is. No, that's not me. That's an image. I don't know. I genuinely don't know how I feel about it. When we get muddled, we listen to Michael Jackson, don't we? And he was looking at the man in the mirror. He wasn't looking at Michael Jackson in the mirror. So it I wasn't. think it's probably all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it would have been a rubbish song, I'm looking at me in the mirror. <laughs> 
I'm asking me to change his ways. Of course, he didn't change his ways, did he? <laughs> I tell you what, I'm, I'm still not sure whether to allow it. If Hugh's drawing of the model is spectacular, mm -hmm. then I think we can allow okay, it. Okay, well, do you want to see what she looked like first? Probably, yeah. Okay, this is her. Okay. And do you want to see her next to Hugh's picture of I... her? <laughs> well, I. I can't imagine that that lady would look any less distinctly like that lady in a mirror. Well, yeah, Hugh looked at the image of her in the mirror several times and he drew this. <laughs> I realise... Yeah. <laughs> she was sitting side on. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah. got the aspect right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But for you, what we've learnt, Hugh, is that a mirror image takes a black woman into a fat, bald, white man. <laughs> I mean, in many true. ways, it is the Michael Jackson story. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. I mean, in many ways, it's the best thing I've ever seen on the show. <laughs> Alex, we don't actually know the model's name yet, and that they got a bonus point for guessing the name correctly. This is how they got on. Here we go. Can you write down your full name? Yes. Thank you. Right, here we are. Jennifer Christine Wright. Thank you. Something has paid off. <laughs> Wow. Jennifer Christine Wright. Um, Mel also got that, just from guessing eventually you got Jennifer. Did I? Who else got bonus points then? Just uh, Hugh. Just Hugh. That brings me up to five in yeah. total. <laughs> I thought, yeah, it brings him up to four in total. So. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, God. Get through the door too quick. <laughs> right. What the heck is this, I wonder? That looks like decomposing tuna sweet corn. Work out the flavours of these baby foods. Most accurate flavour guesses wins. Oh, God, that's disgusting. <laughs> You have ten minutes. And your time starts now. Also, there's a bonus point for whoever eats the most baby food. I bet there is. <laughs> we haven't had lunch yet, so let's not knock it. If it has definitely been swiped from a baby this morning, then I'm good to go. <laughs> they all seem to assume, Alex, it was real baby food. Yeah. Yeah, that may or may not have been the case. Yeah. <laughs> not the case. Not uh, the case. The last two are <laughs> Sim and Lisa. How are their palates? Let's oh, find out. God. I'm going to say chicken stuffing. Sage, onion. Lovely. There's tuna, sweet corn, coconut. You like that one? Try it. It's like tuna, may tuna mayo, sweet corn, coconut. Oh, God. What's the little white bits in it? Is that a prawn? Oh. Is that a worm? I mean, I think it might be like cat food as well. Aston was the only person who took the things out of the jar, so found the prawns were in there for everyone. Oh, I, think, I think we all enjoyed that. Yeah. Mm. Being <laughs> filth being paraded around the table. <laughs> because so far in the series, I don't think this is unfair to say that no. Asim has been consistently shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said maybe Weetabix in the first one instead of sugar puffs. He said tuna, warm, one warm prawn, he said. One warm prawn. <laughs> <laughs> you got the coconut. coconut. Lisa also got the coconut and chocolate and sausage. So these two, oh. Asim just got one extra correct bit of information. He also ate 38 grams of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is said, I hadn't had lunch. Yeah. <laughs> one sixtieth of a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lisa ate 33 grams. A light bulb's wow. worth. So yeah, pretty good. But a light, light bulb. bulb. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's how much light bulbs weigh. So in terms of scores, um, Fred Tim gets the one point, Alice two, Russell three, Lisa four, Aston Tragedy gets six. Yeah. That's exciting. Ah. It's a hat you just don't understand. Fashion. <laughs> I'm ready for the party. Make the most exotic sandwich. You have ten minutes to plan your exotic sandwich. Then ten minutes to construct it. Your time starts now. Right. What do you think exotic means? That, to me, says maybe fillings that have never been seen in a sandwich before. Um... OK. So, what I would like, please, is some Moroccan flatbread. Turkish delight. That's very exotic. Get me some wholemeal bread and maybe some pita bread as well. Wholemeal, though. I'm not an idiot. So, I need a kumquat. Greg's sausage roll. Kiwi fruit. It's going all sweet. Mm. Heck, everyone's going to go savoury, aren't they? Some smoked trout. Then a crunchy bar. Then a Kit Kat. Then a double decker. Oh, a yam. Tequila. Some tequila. What are you in France? Uh, croissants. Okay, I'll go shopping. Okay. Shall I come with you? No, thank you. Do you need money? No. Okay. Bag for life. See you later. <laughs> I want to start with Mel. She mm -hmm. looked very excited, and I'm keen to see her sandwich. OK. She did say before she started, I want to blow the Taskmaster's tiny mind. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. All right. Chocolate spread. Good layer of the chocolate orange. A little bread ski. Double-deckers. A bit more of a Nutella. Let's go for the crunchy. Three minutes. Three minutes? What? Let's do some M&M's. Maltese. I can see why people get stressed out on these cookery shows. This is absolutely appallingly stressful. Just bronzing up the marshmallows. That, to me, is like a, a sort of Japanese pagoda. Can I give you this as well, Mel? Just, yes. Um, to say thank you. Is that for me? Yes. Thank you. Eat your exotic sandwich, fastest wins. Final line, please, now. What's the task, Samuel? Time starts now. OK. Oh, gang. <laughs> I can't do any more than that. Stop, stop. <laughs> so showbiz nights, eh? Slotted <laughs> MMs. Only blue ones. Only blue ones. <laughs> Is it exotic that sandwich? It's sort of. I mean, it's instant diabetes, isn't it? <laughs> well, I suppose so. It was uh, Turkish Delight, Crunchy Kit Kat, Double Decker, Twix, Snickers, M&M's, Icing Sugar, Marshmallows, Chocolate Eggs, Chocolate Oranges, Nutella and a Blowtorch. I suppose it's sort of... <laughs> it's sort of exotic. <laughs> so you're going to judge the most exotic and I'll tell you... It's meant to be who can eat their sandwich the fastest. I can reveal nobody finished their sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's who ate the most of their sandwich. You ate four good-sized bites, uh, essentially one Double Decker, and you inhaled the M&M. <laughs> It's got to be a bonus, a nasal M&M, isn't it? Always. <laughs> uh, 
who's going to read the task out. Kerry Godleman is going to read the task out. Walk over and hit that drum in exactly 9.58 seconds. <laughs> also, there are two bonus points for the person with the most magnificent walk. <laughs> the four who are not walking are going to be blindfolded in case they get hints on what is most magnificent. Next to walk is Jessica Nappett. Good luck, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> You fell off. <laughs> she, she has set the bar pretty high. <laughs> oh, hello. Hiya. You all right? Hiya. Hello, Ian. Hey, Alex. Hello, Paul. Hi, Alex. Hello. Hi. Hello. I think he was most excited to see me. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Shall I read it? Yeah. Have a long distance game of catch with this beach ball. One team member must be filmed in one location throwing the ball out of shot. Another team member must then be filmed in another location catching the ball correctly and throwing the ball out of shot. Another team member must then be filmed in another location catching the ball correctly and throwing the ball out of shot and so on. Gracious distance apparently covered by the beach ball wins. You have two months. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Two Your time months. starts now. Do you want to do it at home with a pump? All right, let's start with a team of three, Ian, Lou and Paul. Places there were. Well, the chain came to an end there because the ball didn't go out of shot oh. and we ran out of people uh, to throw it between the two. It had to go to a different person every time. But there was no way anyone could catch that because it didn't leave the frame. There's, but there's, there's another one of me in Edinburgh with a kilt on. Unfortunately, it didn't leave the frame. <laughs> but I would say they've covered quite a distance. Yeah. In total, 10,557 miles. Oh, right. I mean, I would say we'd got more footage from Paul and he travelled uh, more than twice the distance that you did just by himself. Do you want to see Paul did by it? himself? <laughs> yes. This is Paul playing catch with himself around the country. <laughs> Thousand one hundred and forty-two miles. Uh, on his own. On his own. <laughs> I'll give Joe and Sean two points and the trio three points. Okay. But and no one's going to argue with me over this. Paul Sinhar gets a bonus point. Yeah. Okay. So four yeah. points to Paul uh, Sinhar. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>